Hey guys, Chris Cards here for another TTMM. Starting this one off a little different today, I'm going to give you tip number one. A few tips every now and then via TTMM. And actually my description, I'll actually put tip number one, tip number two, so you guys can see the links to which uh, TTM week I do have tips. So if you guys want to see future tips, uh, that's a good quick way of uh, resourcing it uh, and finding out what they are. So it's easy to get TTMM videos videos returns of retired players and then tournament of videos uh it's also easy to get ttmms ttms of rookies so anthony volpe 30th overall pick to the yankees i have his home address here probably his parents address um casey mice number one overall pick last year to the tigers again it's a uh, home address Mason Denneberg, same thing. Some of these guys are still in uh, graduate high school. This is their first year of pro ball. The draft just happened last week, so now is the time to dig out those AAA cards that you don't think are very interesting and get some ink on them. Nolan Gorman, again, a home address. Caden Grenier, home address. And then a few others, Braden Shoemake and Riley Green. As you see, they're both going to uh, A-ball addresses. So what's exciting about these guys is is as soon as they are drafted, they report to a ball basically. So you find their cards and you send it to the stadium. In this case, this is going to Publix Field, Joker Marching Stadium in Lakeland Hills, Florida, or Lakeland, Florida. This one's going to Rome, Georgia, the Rome Braves. So these guys are kind of easy to get when they're rookies. They're kind of hard to get when they're active. You send them off to the stadium and they either don't have time for it, they don't be bothered by it. Uh, maybe they'll sign any off season. Maybe they'll sign during spring training. But other than that, they're very tough to get. Usually, if you wait a few years after they retire, you you can get them if you're patient. But uh, rookies, in their first year pro ball, Casey Mize, uh, second year actually pro ball. He's lights out, by the way. He's doing great. So hopefully, we'll see him up in the majors in a few years, uh, maybe next year. So that's tip number one for me. Don't neglect those AAA cards, the Panini cards and any other card company that makes AAA cards. So pretty unique opportunity to get in before these guys get big. And of course, some of them might not even make it, but regardless, that's kind of the fun of the whole thing. So there you have it, guys. These are getting sent off. So hopefully that gives you guys some ideas. If you've got cards of guys, and even if you don't have their home addresses, such as Casey Mice, you can also find out where they're playing and get the team address. This is what I do. And by the way, for those wondering, there's about 20 here, stack 20. I'm sending off today for TTMM future content. Uh, about 20, maybe 25 envelopes here. And these are guys I'll hope you get back over the next few months. And uh, I do this about twice a month. I'll watch you guys' on video. I'll watch some of the TTM videos I like. I'll watch uh, a lot of the card crew members' videos and all this stuff. I'll catch up on my my video viewership, which is hard to do when you're making videos. You can either make a video, or in my case, you can either make a video or you can watch videos. So uh, when I do get on a computer, I, I tend to just want to make the videos. Uh, so this is fun when I get to watch a bunch of your videos and check you guys out and your content and stuff like that out. And while I'm doing that, I'm going through my cards, going through my list, getting my envelopes ready and stuff like that. So in case you were wondering, I do this about twice a month and I get probably uh, two or three returns a day. Um, so that's it, guys. Tip number one. Now back to your regularly scheduled TTMM. Let's see who I got this week. All right, gentlemen, there's your tip for the day. And let's get right to it from North Texas, Texas. Here is return number one. Who do we have here? I see vintage. All right. Oh, man, look at that. Beautiful. Did not sign the index card. That's all right. Nineteen fifty one Bowman Bobby Brown played for the Yankees. He was also the league commissioner in the uh, late seventies, early eighties, I believe. To think this card is sixty. What, 68 years old? And I just got it signed by a, a player that's still alive. That's that's unbelievable. 
Bobby Brown after his career, after he, uh, after his playing career, he became a, a doctor. So it's actually Dr. Bobby Brown. It was his prerogative to go ahead and go back to school and uh, better himself. So he was a doctor for many years. So 1951 Bowman Bobby Brown. That is sweet. That looks good. And here you go, guys. 1924. That's when Bobby Brown was born in Seattle, Washington. He's now 94 years of age. He'll be 95 here in a couple of months. And here is his address. He will be more than happy to send or sign anything you send him. And if you don't have one of his cards, don't fret. You can pick one up on eBay for probably a dollar or two. Or you can just send him an index card. Uh, anything. Uh, anything you want. So just glad he's still signing. And... Uh, Get them while you can. All right, here we go, guys. Return numero dos. Let's get this ripped open and see who we have. All right, an index card. Unsigned up. There we go. I see a Mickey, Mickey Klutz. There we go. Played for uh, seven years, I do believe. Maybe eight years. Yankees, Oakland, Toronto. And for the record, he had a 948 fielding percentage, so not too bad for a klutz. And uh, similar players, Jim Pankovitz, TTMM friend, previous recipient of Mail by Me and autographs from him. Thank you very much, Jim. And Mickey, I appreciate this. I believe I got this card from one of my explosion box openings. A lot of those uh, early Fleer 82-83 cards I got, uh, I think I sent them off for TTM purposes. So there's one of them. And that's it, return number two. The address is kind of cut off a little bit there. It's 93240, though I'm sure you guys could have easily Googled Lake Isabella, California, got the zip code yourself. But for those that are challenged in the ways of the internet, there you go. The complete zip code for your convenience and 6136 Maple, that's a manufactured home near a lake in Lake Isabella, California. So he must enjoy his retirement. Probably an outdoorsman. Probably fishes a lot. Home's probably paid off. I like to Google these guys' house every now and then. It's what kind of pad they're living in. I'm not sure why. I just do. Some have big ranches. Some live in trailer parks. And some just live modest means in a tiny little house. Some live in apartments. So all sorts of different things out there for these ex-players. All right, guys, our final return of the day. We got coming in from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I uh, I showed you earlier in the video, I have I sent out so many uh, TTM requests that I, I, I can't tell who's going to be coming from where. So no idea who this is. Okay, Sid Bream. There we go. Sid Bream is a great TTM signer. He charges $1 per card. So keep that in mind if you are sending away Sid Bream cards. I'll have his address here in a bit. And I sent him off a bunch, and he's got a nice address. He does the scripture on his cards. So he is definitely Team Jesus. Pittsburgh, his most famous moment probably came in the 1992 NLCS against the Pittsburgh Pirates when he was an Atlanta Brave. Doug, Dr Doug Drabeck was on the hill for the Pirates in the top of the ninth, uh, make that the bottom of the ninth to close it out. Uh, and send the Pirates off to the World Series. But the Braves had other plans. Drebeck pretty much loaded the bases, and uh, Leland took Drebeck out, brought in Stan Belinda. Stan Belinda gave up a sack fly to Ron Gantz, another TTMM friend, who I think I got his return last week. Look at these beautiful signatures on this card. Maybe not so much on this 85 tops here, um, or 86 tops. It's a little bit smudged, but that is a Tiffany card. That's a shame. I, I do remember getting a Tiffany card uh, for the signatures, but... Third string catcher Francisco Cabrera hit a two run base hit. Bream was on second base. He came around to score the game winning run. He beat Barry Bonds' throw. Bonds' throw was up the line. Bream scored the game winning run, and the Atlanta Braves were off to the 1992 World Series. They call that the slide. That is probably his defining moment in his career. And, of course, the Braves went on to be defeated by the Toronto Blue Jays in the World Series, the first of two consecutive World Series championships 
For the Blue Jays, they would pound on the NL East on two consecutive years with the Phillies losing to them in 93. So here you see Sid Bream's address and all the cards I sent him. That's six cards, so I sent him a $5 bill and a $1 bill, six bucks. And I got them back in pretty quick amount of time. And there you have it, guys. Another Through the Mail Monday in the books. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment down below. Three returns this week. Bobby Brown, Sid Bream, and Mickey Klutz. All those signatures came out really good. I wish that Tiffany on Sid Bream would have come out a little bit better. But it is what it is. Hope you guys had a great 4th of July. Hope nobody lost any fingers. And that is it. I'll see you later on in the week with another video. Also, next Monday as well, 9.15 in the morning, PST. That's when these Through the Mail Monday videos are posted. So uh, make sure you subscribe so you are kept up to date on them. Thanks again, like I said, for watching. You guys have a great week.